This is the story of how I managed to find something absolutely strange going on in a Minecraft village that I otherwise wouldn't have found. As you can all see, it started out as a very ordinary video. I was simply just picking flowers right next to what I appeared to be a normal Minecraft village. Now, you can all probably see that from the moment I looked at it, I already knew that this village was definitely a little bit strange. You see, the village had sand underneath one of the farms and that already didn't really make sense. You see, why this didn't make sense was even though I was grateful for the fact that I could get food from this, I was wondering, where is the actual spawn and where is the actual village? Because you don't usually see these things just like that. Had someone simply dropped this in from the map? Either way, it was definitely very confusing, but I decided to take just a few of the resources because whatever weird stuff was going on, I definitely didn't want to be near it. Then I saw it, the path to the village. It was definitely a very, very weirdly constructed one, but somehow constructed over two mountains. And then that's when I truly saw it. At first, I wasn't exactly sure what I was looking at because there were two villages in the actual way of whatever it was that was down there. But I did know that whatever was down there was definitely not something I wanted to mess with. So I decided to just stay up for quite some time because I knew that if I did go closer to it, then potentially I could be damaged. Eventually, I did realize that it wouldn't do too much harm to go down there and actually explore, considering the fact that two villagers were right next to it. So I decided to venture down and see if I could actually look over there and see exactly what has gone on. So I also did realize that there was a police officer nearby, which meant that whatever this was, was some kind of senior investigation, because I haven't really seen a police in Minecraft in quite some time. And those were some for some only really, really dangerous crimes. One thing that really did make me confused was the fact that this hole was built out of some weird, weird blocks. You see, Minecraft's dimensions are usually made out of one block dimensions, but this was out of the 16 individual pixels that Minecraft blocks are subdivided and made out of. It was definitely very, very strange, meaning that whatever had made this hole had definitely come from some very strange sources. Now, of course, when I looked down the hole, it was definitely very, very scary because even though I managed to zoom in with whatever mod tool I was using, I still couldn't actually grasp or see anything down there, which meant all the more scary because I didn't exactly know what was going on. So I had a real choice to make. Was I to go down there and see exactly what was down there? Or was I going to make sure I figured out exactly what was going down there by talking to perhaps some of the wiser people on the platform. So I decided to talk to this villager, considering that he was the one that was looking down there before I had already gotten there, and he gave me some very, very wise words. He said, what on earth is this hole? I've never seen something like this. I've been looking at this for days. And that was the first conversation I had. It was definitely very eye-opening because he claimed that he'd been looking at this for days, which meant that this had been there for quite some time. Now this makes sense because what I also saw was I saw barricades around this hole, which meant that these villagers had had time to call the police and the police had set up some kind of barricade around this hole, preventing the average person from going inside. The next thing I had to do was I had to talk to the other villager too, and this was a bit more of an enlightening conversation. He gave me some really good information. He said that he's never seen something like this before and that I shouldn't go down there. He also mentioned that he'd heard some crazy sounds coming from down there. Now, I knew that the villagers were going to give me some good information, but I knew that if I wanted some really good information or some any guidance at all, that I would have to talk to the police officer. So I decided to talk to the police officer and he said, we actually haven't figured out what's down there and that we need to know what's going down there. Can you help us? One of our guys actually went down there and his radio stopped working 20 minutes ago. We are worried that was part of our conversation. So what was going on in this situation was that I was definitely quite confused as to what on earth was going down there. And I was even more scared because I did realize that if you did fall down there, it was definitely going to be an instant death drop, not something that you'd want to experience ever 
or at all for that fact. So I decided that I would still need to do a bit more resources. You see, when I looked in my inventory, I realized that I only had a, just a very, very small amount of armor and materials. And this wasn't good for several reasons. You see, if I managed to drop down there, I wouldn't survive the fall. And even if I did drop down there, if there was some crazy deranged creature down there, then my armor wouldn't suffice for whatever was going on. So I decided that I needed to make sure that whatever was down there, I was well prepared. I knew that in many Minecraft villages, there are sometimes scientists. So I decided if I could find him, then that would be really good. So looking around the village, I wasn't exactly sure where he was at first, but then I managed to see a sign on the side of a village that said village house and research facility. As I opened the door, I realized that I was in the right place. There was a trap door that was completely down there. So what I did was I opened the trap door, went down there into the base. We'll see, it definitely was a very, very nice little laboratory. Now, as I went down there, I was definitely quite confused as to what I was seeing, but reading the signs gave me a bit more information. You can see here, it says something strange has entered the atmosphere and it is heading right for us, at least for this village. So be careful, it may have an impact on toxic air. I then spoke to the scientist to further clarify his readings and he gave me a lot of information. So I spoke to this guy and he said, ah yes, the hole. It's not just a hole, it's a meteorite and it crash landed here. He then said these villagers weren't paying attention, but I was. Don't go near it, it's toxic. At least wear a suit. And that was the end of our conversation. So from that conversation, it seemed like we understood exactly what was going on. We needed a hazmat suit. So there was a sign that said break glass in, a, in case of emergency. So I decided to break that glass just to make sure that I knew exactly what was going on. But to my surprise, it wasn't some kind of great weapons that I wanted or any kind of toxic gas mask. A bunch of weapons that I'd never seen before. But at the same time, I was just grabbing them just in case. Now, I knew I was going to need this hazmat suit because essentially what we were looking at was something from outer space. So I decided to grab this hazmat suit and place it on completely because I was going to be someone that was going to be going all the way into the very depths of a very new secret. So after that, I decided to open up the door and see if I could explore further. Now, I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to find in the village, but I just knew that I had to make sure that whatever I was going to find was going to give me the right details. Now, while looking around, I did actually manage to find a village message board and it read as follows. Pay attention, everyone. A strange hole has formed in the front of the village. Nobody knows what has caused this strange thing and we are working to figure out exactly what is going on with it. We are not sure as to what caused this problem. Do not go inside the hole under any circumstance. So it was clear that by the village's definition, they didn't want anyone going inside that hole or messing around with it. Now, of course, I was definitely one of the people that were going to do that, but for the sake of the adventure, I decided that I might as well take a look inside there. Now, I did try to speak to some other villagers, but they weren't as forgiving. So I decided that, you know, now is the time to go down there. But before I went down there, I thought I might as well have one last conversation with someone that I saw. You see, as I was walking up the village, I noticed that a lot of villagers were gathering around one strange house. But then I realized that there was a man right on top of that house and that he was standing there just simply right next to the telescope. So I knew that I had to have a conversation with him. So I climbed the ladder, opened up the door, and that's when I saw this. This was something really insane. I wasn't exactly sure on how on earth he managed to get this picture, but it did look very, very realistic and it looked like he took it. Now, what was even crazier was that as I went up to the top, I knew that the man was watching the moon because his telescope was pointed right at it, which meant that if there was any kind of meteorite, then this man was going to be the person I needed to talk to. So I wasn't exactly sure how to talk to him. So I just walked up to him and he said, hello. He then said, I saw something in the sky. Did you see the picture I took? And of course, he's referring to the image down there. He then mentioned that it is wild, isn't it? And quite scary if you ask me. He then said he did hear a few strange noises. So I'm not going down there. I'm staying right where I am. So he was definitely sure that what we'd seen was definitely something absolutely crazy. And I was also quite scared because I now knew that what was down there was not safe at all. It definitely wasn't just some kind of strange meteorite. It probably was some kind of creature. Now, I wasn't sure if that sound was the cringe creature or just the meteorite landing and just exploding. So I decided that what I would first do before going down there is I would drop a torch. 
This is a very, very cool technique you can use if you want to see exactly what's down the hole, but not go down there. So I decided to drop my torch. It lit up all the way down. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to see exactly what went down there because unfortunately, my render distance wasn't far enough. So I knew that at this stage, it was coming to the part where we just had to go down there because I needed to figure out exactly what was going on. I could no longer, for the life of me, stay up here whilst there was something going on down there. So I needed to see exactly how this hole had been crafted. So I decided to get myself some wood because this is something that I did not have. Now, luckily for me, despite not having a lot of materials, I was given a hazmat suit and two very good weapons. So I decided that I might as well get myself as much wood as possible and then start my descent. So I decided to place one block of wood first so that I knew I could place wood as I went down because if I didn't do this then I would be completely in a bad position but I did quickly hop out and then set my spawn point because I knew that of course if I didn't set my spawn point then I would be in a very very bad position considering the fact that it would be me who would be spawning in a very different place than I did already so I knew that I had to be quick with the trigger when dropping because if I wasn't I was going to lose a lot of HP now I was definitely very scared when doing this because I knew that I could definitely die very quickly and that Minecraft deaths are usually caused by lack of ability now of course I knew that when dropping down all I had to do was to continue to place these blocks but one thing I did want to do as well was look out for any kind of crazy creatures now when i got down there i definitely was a little bit scared because i did actually panic place a bunch of wood but it was definitely very strange because the meteorite that landed seemed to be a bit bigger than before and this was even stranger than i'd already experienced or even thought could be now this was truly scary because when i actually looked at the meteorite it was completely made out of a very black material now i was definitely scared as well because my hazmat suit was a hazmat suit built for toxicity it wasn't built for the fire that was in ranging around the very very big meteorite now what was even scarier was that this meteorite was fully on fire it was definitely very very scary i don't know how on earth this thing was even working but what was scary was that this thing actually managed to open and as you can all see there was definitely some kind of creature or something that managed to leave this absolute meteorite now it was definitely kind of scary because i wasn't exactly sure where to go from here but i decided that quickly i might as well make myself a pickaxe because if i was going to be exploring some kind of a biohazard or some kind of crazy creature that is toxic with air then i might as well have a pickaxe to mine some of these blocks just in case it comes at me and I need to block it off as quick as possible. So I decided that three cobblestone blocks were enough for my safety and then I continued along the journey. Now strangely enough there was a torch here which suggested that the police officer that had supposedly been down here before had actually made it this far but what was scary was that there were two separate ways and both of them led to somewhere else. Now I wasn't exactly sure which way to go but I decided to go to the right first. Now, it was extremely dark, so I decided to place a torch, but it seemed that the journey ended here. Despite there being redstone, and despite there being some sort of trail, it seemed that our journey ended here. I couldn't find any more clues. So I decided to go back to the left to see exactly what was down this hole. And this is where things got super interesting. You see, I was under the impression that if I explored this place, then maybe, just maybe, that the further I got, the more I would see, but that wasn't the truth. You see, the further I got, the more dangerous it was, but the way and the angle in which I got there, unfortunately, led to my demise. You see, the moment I got there, there were two crazy creatures that I couldn't even see straight away, and they rushed towards me as quick as possible. Now, I wasn't exactly sure what hit me at first because from the moment I died, I was just in complete shock. It said Truzumsi was slain by a car now and I wasn't even sure what kind of creature that was. I mean, there were two of them, they were quick, they were fast and they didn't even manage to take any damage. You see, I was now under the impression that there were some kind of aliens that had somehow landed, but I knew that this wasn't the end of the story. I decided to seek extra help. You see, one thing that I did realize when doing this adventure was I realized that there was actually a police station nearby, which is actually pretty good because the police station can be used for other things. So I decided to see if this police station could actually give me some help. So I decided to talk to the officer. He greeted me with a hello and he said, take what you need. I heard it's dangerous down there. Be careful, buddy. 
things will get wild. So I decided to go ahead and grab myself an, an assault rifle and then grab myself the full commando armor. You see, this was now a, not a hazard mission. This was now a full on assault mission to make sure I came back with exactly what I needed. So I grabbed my assault rifle and then of course I took a very, very, very large stash of obsidian. Now, the obsidian was definitely quite scary because I wasn't exactly sure what it was for, but I knew eventually that this obsidian was going to be something I used to block up the hole. So I decided to make sure I got myself some dirt and I then decided to venture back down into the hole. Now, I knew this was definitely a very scary sight, but I decided that this time I would plan my attack differently. I decided that I would do some kind of sneak attack. You see, of course, they weren't expecting me, and I'm guessing they wouldn't expect me to come back, especially with all of this armor and all of these resources. So I decided that now, with the information I had, with the weapons I had, I would just simply sneak up on them. Now, I didn't know that these creatures couldn't jump as well, so I decided that the best course of action would be to gain some high ground. So before I turned the corner, I used my best knowledge to make sure that I placed some torches. Now, this may have alerted them, but I don't think these creatures could see. I'm pretty sure it was completely based on smell. So I decided to build up as many blocks as I could, and at that moment, they started to attack me. Now, of course, I was definitely very scared, but I wanted to get a very good look at these creatures. They were completely fast and their eyes were completely white. It was definitely a truly, truly scary thing. But at the same time, I didn't really mind too much because now I was someone that was ahead of the game. So I decided to use my assault rifle to simply destroy these creatures because I knew that these creatures would not stop. Unfortunately for me, I was very scared because I nearly ran out of ammo. Luckily for me, they managed to die and perish very quickly, and I managed to go deeper into the hole. Luckily, there wasn't anything there, but this was definitely a truly scary event. Now, I needed to make sure that this never happened again. You see, I was definitely down here and in a very bad situation, because of course, I'd definitely been trapped. So I needed to spend some hard-earned time making sure I could get back to the surface without completely dying. And that's what I did. Once I was back to the surface, I decided that it would be best if this hole actually was destroyed. Now, I knew that the villagers didn't exactly know what was going on down there, but I knew that I needed to make sure that there was an absolute way that this hole would be absolutely destroyed. So I decided to make sure that the first layer of the hole, I would place obsidian there as much as possible. Now, I knew that this was probably going to upset the villager who was looking at it the entire time, but I just knew that these villagers needed to get away from this hole you see even though i destroyed the two creatures that had come out from whatever crazy thing it was i knew that there was the potential for there to be more now of course i needed to make sure that i took the old man's telescope this was so that i could watch for any other creatures or any other strange beings that may have come you see the old man was the only one who was able to spot the real threat coming down and even the scientist was unsure of what was going on so of course I decided to take his telescope and use it for myself. That way, if these creatures ever came again, I could warn the villagers straight away and I could be the first one to stop.